Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to speed up, slow down and reverse your video with most advanced way in Premiere Pro. This may be a simple beginner tutorial, but if you watch it I will show you some interesting tips and tricks to achieve that professional transition effect. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as speed and slow, click OK. We will import our stock videos. Here we have our two stock videos, I will drag this video to our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Let's play it. Now we have this beautiful stock video of a girl running on wheat field with a slow motion effect to it. I will now show you what most of the beginners will do to increase or decrease the speed. Take the razor tool over here or press are on your keyboard. Cut the part where you want to increase or decrease the speed. If you don't want to increase or decrease the audio along with video, just right click on it and select unlink. It will separate the audio from the video and you can edit it separately as you want. If you want to link it again just right click and select link. Now to increase the speed, right click on it and click on speed and duration. If you change the speed percentage to higher value then the video's speed will be increased too. I will change it to 200% click OK. Let's play it. As you see our video speed has increased. We can increase it more. Press Ctrl R and change it to 500%. more the speed shorter the duration will be. Now to make that slow motion effect we will simply just slow down the video by half or below half the duration. Go to speed duration and change the speed to 50%. Now we can see that the video is slowed down by 50% of its actual duration. We can make it even slower by again reducing the percentage. Let's play it. Slow motion effects will be different based on the frame rate of the video. This video have a normal 24 frames per second. To get that fluid motion effect, you should record the video at 60 frames or 120 frames per second. We know how to increase or decrease the speed of the video. Now we know what most of the beginners will do. You can see that the video from normal to speeding transition is so rough because of the cut that we made. Now I will show you how to do this in a proper and efficient way. Take the indicator where you want the effect to start. Go to this FX icon and right click on it. You can see three options, click on the time remapping and select speed. Now go here and increase this layer size by dragging it upward like this. Now we can see that there is a line. This line indicates the speed of this clip. Hold Ctrl and click on the line to make a start point. Place the indicator where you want to end the speed or slow effect. Again hold Ctrl and click on it. Now that we created the starting and ending point, we will increase the speed by dragging this line in the center to upward like this. As you can see the video's duration became shorter because the speeding effect. Let's play it. As you can see that higher the line, speed of the video will be.
Now comes the most important note. To make that smooth transition from normal to speeding with making it look more organic, go to this start anchor icon and drag it to right like this. Then go to the ending anchor point and drag it to right like this. If I select the start anchor you can see that there is a tangent line appeared. If I pull it like this you can see that the line edges become smoother, this will make the transition looks so much better than the sharp cut transition. We will do the same to this end anchor also. Now let's play it. That looks super good. We now know how to make that smoother speed transition. You can make it more slower transition by increase the length between the anchor points. To slow down the video you just simply drag it down then the actual speed. Let's play it. Now we made the video slower with better transition. As you can see that lower the line the slower the video will be. Now drag the second stock footage to our timeline. Let's play it. Here we have this basketball player practicing with a determination. We will make him look much cooler than he already was by adding some slow and speed transition. We now added some effects now let's take a look. That looks super cool. I will now show you how to make that reverse video effect. Take this footage to the timeline and right click on it. Go to speed duration. You can see that there is a reverse option. Just simply click on the checkbox and click OK. Now let's play it. That looks perfect. We now reversed the video. We finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you all learned something new even though it's a simple beginner's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.